so I know, like I'm not like so weird. Oh man, am I good? Okay, I'm so upset that like I was on time for the it intro. Was so and smooth. It was. I, I was, was so smooth with it. it. Something <laughs> had to throw it off. Something <laughs> had to. <laughs> Gremlins. That, it, is your, it is your brand now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just goes to show you I cannot be prepared. I yeah. have to be startled by the fact that we are beginning this stream. <laughs> Regardless, hi everybody, and uh welcome to uh season 12, episode five of Rivals of Waterdeep. We are here. It is the we are about to venture forth into the second half of the season. And uh, we now know that we are fighting gentrification. <laughs> the worst yeah. enemy of all. Absolutely. Big boss, all yeah. yeah. Great out the monster manual. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the what Let's is the CR for the gentrification? Oh my god. <laughs> Tarask is what 30, so it's gotta be at least 50. Can we go fight right. the dragon again? Damn, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's just all go back to the caldera. The dragon is reborn. Let's just, it's easier than, easier than. I don't want to make a, this. I really don't want to make a litigation check. So I really would rather, like, <laughs> much easier to fight a dragon. Uh, but let us go around and introduce our wonderful cast uh, for this season and past seasons and until eternity, until we stop doing this. Uh, let's go. Let's start with Tanya. Hey, I'm Tanya Seifertier. I am your Paladin Ranger Slice Historio. Pronouns for Slice of myself are she, her. Sharif. Yeah, Sharif. Oh. Sorry. I, I wasn't the order. I'm like, wait, who's, what's the order? Wait. <laughs> oh, oh so, so, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at the stream, so I don't know who you're pointing to. Because uh, on my Zoom, you're just pointing to the void of uh, space. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm the Void of Space, uh, named Sharif. Uh, he, him, I'll be playing uh, Shaka, Tiefling, Celestial Warlock, also he, him. Uh, and excited to be uh, at the halfway point. Okay. Brian. Oh my gosh, we are at the halfway point. Um, hi, I am Brian. Uh, I will be playing Virgil, your Storm Sorcerer Asmar. Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. And Eugenio. Hello, I'm Eugenio, I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. I am playing Kent, our tiefling rogue, uh, whose pronouns are he, him as well. That's all. Are you sure? No. <laughs> right, you want, is there? Did, you, are you, are you, I, did I forget? No, you're over here. Shit, no, you're I, over here. No, no, no you I, had it right. No, no, oh God. <laughs> oh no. my God. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Virgil's everywhere. <laughs> That's he, right, he is. No, I, I, always. I, no I, I, I I should imagine Virgil just misty stepping back and forth. <laughs> I'm just yeah. trying to look him over here. No, over here. He's near, far. Near, yeah. far. Wherever Wherever you Polo are. with Virgil. Wherever you are. Anyway. I cast minor <laughs> illusion. <laughs> and Masood. Hello, I'm Masood. Uh, I play Gajic Nomad, our favorite businessman, socialist, druid. Um, and both our pronouns are he, him. And I... I'm your DM for this season. I am Latia Jaquise. My pronouns are she, her. Dahani is here sometimes. Her pronouns are also she, her. And I play a bevy, a myriad, a cavalcade of NPCs with various pronouns. Um, and uh, let's just jump right into the ad reads, shall we? We're sponsored by people and we love them. So we should give them some, some love. Sharif, take it away. We should. Uh, yeah, so let's start with D&D Beyond. Uh, that's so where we have all our character sheets, um, so we can look up all our spells, add new spells, look up monsters, manage encounters, roll dice, all kind of cool stuff on there. Uh, make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. Uh, if you're listening live, you're in the chat, um, we'll, we have another giveaway this week as usual. We'll be giving away an adventurer's bundle, so you'll be able to get some source content, uh, some source books from D&D Beyond. Um, keep a lookout for the, uh, for the uh, phrase that you can enter in and then you'll be entered in a raffle must be present to win um and you'll be able to take home some stuff courtesy of dnd beyond if you're not listening live um so all the podcast fans and uh vod fans um oh okay um sorry i got distracted by something in the chat um yeah uh you know uh just uh 
Oh, no, I got completely lost. Uh, okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry, my, my mind just got uh, bl- blown away. You're in the um, room called Daddy Break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Um, if you are um, a podcast fan or a VOD fan, remember that we stream live Sundays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern um, at twitch.tv slash Rob's of Waterdeep uh, so you can get in on some of the giveaway action. Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Warmwood, W-Y-R-M Wood. Um, you could check them out at warmwoodgaming.com. Um, and you can go to Rivals for free domestic shipping um, on your purchase there. Uh, fill it up with some dice. Uh, we're proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Uh, you could check them out at dieharddice.com. And use the code RIVALS for 10% off of that beautiful, beautiful dice that people are showing off there. Um, and you got dice. You got trays and vaults. You want some other stuff to kind of make your place look a little bit better, a little snazzier? Uh, check out Stormcrow um, at shop.stormcrow.com. Uh, Masood has promised he will wash his mug this time before sending it out to people. There's been some reports that uh, he's just been sending it out, uh, you know, um, in an unsanitary manner. But he has promised. I'm vaxxed um, and boosted. So once it leaves me, it's got to, you just got to trust the packaging, you know? That's that's all I'm saying. That's right. So he he is adhering to uh, laws of uh, COVID and you know that kind of stuff. So it's all good. Oh, um, <laughs> b- but um, yeah, I I apologize, Stormcrow. Um, they have uh, mug. They, Throw me under the they, rug every week. No. <laughs> oh no! Oh, 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 oh no! I'm not apologizing to you. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, they they have mugs and shirts and masks and posters and all kind of cool stuff you can get. Um, and uh, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones at crew.bluemike.com slash Rivals. Um, any purchase that, that you make for any, any of the devices as Kent is dis- displaying, I said Kent, as Eugenio is displaying, uh, we get uh, credit for all those purchases. So make sure to check out that link there as well. Um, and uh, we also have a couple rivals in the video game Idol Champions by codename Entertainment. Um, and we have more rivals to come, but we currently have uh, Sh- Shaka, Sleese, and Dahani um, in there. And if you use the code, um, code, sorry, the, the code, code um, in, in the uh, chat, the, 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 then you will get a free Electrum chest um, that uh, will get you some gear that you'll be able to level up us and other characters in there as well um and also we're also partnered with warriors of Waterdeep, um a mobile video game and if, if you type wow gems in the chat um then you'll get some uh currency and some money there to level up your uh characters there as well and all right the, the, episode, <laughs> the ad reads well for today, March 6, 2022. Thank you very much, Sharif. Uh, there is there is an energy here today that I like. <laughs> um, but now uh, I guess we would throw it to me, who is the whoosh captain. <clears throat> right. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's oh, over here. Yeah. Gotta catch it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was ready. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> oh, it looks so good on the. I love it. <laughs> All right. Everybody get your whooshing hands, fingers, arms, shoulders ready. This is the only exercise I get every week. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a good one. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why we're uncoordinated right. and keep smacking things every time we try. Like, I, know. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't want to pull something when I whoosh. The I last Pratt fall I did was too close to being a real fall. I'm not doing it again. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we don't want to keep chat waiting. Okay. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh, whoosh. Yes. Oh, yes, there it is. Yay. There it is. Okay. I, I had to do a I, I had to do a one handed whoosh because I knocked over my water bottle, but I caught no. it with one hand. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Excellent dexterity check there. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the power to whoosh, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. What happened last week, everybody? We came to some startling conclusions and made some plans and did some some stuff. 
And that's the recap. Great. There was a lot of talking. There was like talking with the dragon, talking yeah. with ourselves, talking with Mert, and talking with what was her name? We didn't get Actually, her name. we never uh, got her name. We only got, got her friend's got name. Her name. Oh, yeah, we right. only got her friend's name. So there was a lot of talking. Uh huh. <laughs> we noticed a lot of the, like the well, first we noticed the dragon's okay. It's making a, a little baby layer underneath the water deep uh, underneath the manor, and we're cool with that. It's comfortable. Um, yeah, I and think, uh, yeah. W- while we're doing that, uh, Dahani was uh, basically translating, right? Yeah, uh, oh, he, yeah. she's speaks draconic, so she mm-hmm. was so we were able to communicate basically with uh, the dragon, which is cool. Um, I have a scene, sorry. Oh, no, 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 please. I, uh, yeah. So and we resolved all, all a lot of that thanks to their interpretation skills and uh, for us to be able to actually communicate properly and know what's going on in this truly all powerful beast's head um, and uh, that we're gonna raise with love and talk to Mert. We talk we, mm-hmm. on our way to Mert. Um, Solis brought up the idea of like pushing back against um, some of the encroachment that's been happening in the North Ward around the manor. Um, I think it was under the guise of like introducing the family of uh, the like the family, the rivals family with the first husbands of uh, Ken and Virgil <laughs> as like the house leaders, which I, I think is is brilliant, like truly fantastic, yeah. great marketing. It, it, it's gonna be clothes, yeah. <laughs> I got um, you covered, though. <laughs> but like the encroachment was also it was it was a bit more like it wasn't really an encroachment, almost the opposite. Like right. the area around us in the North Ward. <laughs> was essentially people were moving out because resources they felt resources weren't really being um you know like i had to learn this that there are families in the north ward so this isn't actually on us it's those right. families are just like those families do not care yeah so yeah maybe we have to do something to um to help revitalize the ward that we live in Uh, so that's what we plan to do. We're going to take over water. No, uh, we do want to... <laughs> one ward at a time. Just one, that one ward at a time. Yeah. Right, right. One, one ward and one, one mask lord seat at a time. Maybe yeah. two at a time. Yeah. Uh, um... But we want to take some of our dragon gotten gains and perhaps mm-hmm. pump it into the local economy, um, which, <laughs> which we may or may not let certain uh high-ranking officials in the city into our plans or not sure sure, sure. though um eh. where did we finish last time before the ominous uh thing that none of the five of us actually well, saw I, you I, were in the yawning portal having just uh ha. C- convinced in massive air quotes Mert to yeah. uh, assist you in providing for the dragon and yeah. because right. he because he covered dinner for you all, you we kind of trailed off with de- you all deliberating as dinner was, as you all were having dinner. That's we kind of threatened right. Mert a little bit. I got a, little, we, a little we, bit. Like, we threw a little bit. We kind of were like, yeah, buddy, this is all your fault. So you got to deal with it. <laughs> to be fair, he did dip on you guys in the middle of a pretty major fight. So it's like, it's, you know, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, Mer- Mer- so we just vanished at the puzzle yeah. door and was worse. out. Dang, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. As soon as the enemies came, he was like, hey, "This is." Uh, yeah, like um, he went through this whole thing of us raising this dragon, and he was like, "All right, juices." <laughs> and Gosrick has developed. I'm not sure if, if this is characteristic or uncharacteristic. A a, a <laughs> de- like Gosrick has developed a heavy tipper trait. I don't know if that is that a feat that you add <laughs> when you level up heavy <laughs> tipper. Because dang. <laughs> This this poor this you poor furniture worker kin is just basically never leaving Troll Skull because he's like yeah. I'm just gonna wait for Gosser to throw more money at me. It's fine. <laughs> the old patronage model that we're bringing back to Waterdeep apparently. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it was very baby steps of an idea that became refined in a much better plan. <laughs> sure, sure. Right. I'm just gonna tip uh, heavily. <laughs> That's my investment. That works. Uh, so we we dinner we dinnered we dined because that's mm-hmm. the verb form, mm-hmm. uh, and continued talking about plans. And then we didn't see some shadow cabal be thrilled that plans are moving apace as they wanted. 
which is wild because we knew Latia's going to smash cut to some shadow cabal. Like, <laughs> you know. like we were in the library and she smash cut to deep below candle deep, like candle keep. I'm like, mm, okay. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, Never. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, after having your your meal at at, yawn, at, at yawning portal at the yawning portal. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. All others are um, invitation. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Um, you are you're basically kind of free to do whatever you want. Uh you're free to go back to trolls. I mean, it was just dinner. Your business concluded. It was still early as far as the day the, the day goes. You probably have it's probably just gone twilight. Mm-hmm. So um your meal eaten and your business concluded. The night was yours to do whatever. You're free to just go back home. You're free to do whatever. Um, I might dip out to go see some, uh, I think Kin gave me the name of some like armorers or like people who would be like to see about using some of those dragon scales. So I think that's what I'm, I would like Gosric to do. Um, okay. Um, the next I moment, but yeah. Offer a clarification. Kin said yeah. that if he, Kin said that he would ask around. Oh yeah. He, he said he would ask around. Sorry. It's the same day. Never mind. Um. God, it's the same day. It's the same day. <laughs> days last forever. Com- yeah. Combat takes a weekend, but days you can be like a month in like two hours. It's fine. You know? like, <laughs> this is true. Day. Um, yeah, this is the same day. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are there, are, are there a lot of people in the yawning portal right now? Yeah, you all are in a um, a private room that's kind of behind the bar right. that's been that you guys right. know has been kind of like warded against the noise, but. Uh, when you when you were in there, yeah, it was pretty pretty busy. And you gather that as okay. the evening has gone on, it may be even more crowded. Because I would like to um, see if I can like eavesdrop. I want to see if there's any rumors or anything going on about this. Uh, um, either people moving out of the North Ward, or they also said, or or the woman that we met last week said that the other wards seem to be incentivizing or that, that there was that, that, that th- there was a perception that the money was going to, to more people in the other ward. So I want to kind of want to just try to eavesdrop and see if I can hear conversations about either of those things. Sure. Go ahead and make me in either perception or investigation check. Yeah. Okay. It would probably help if I uh, had my sheet up. Uh, here we go. Okay, so let's do uh, investigation. Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, nice. Excellent. Um, so you have to open the door to do that because you can't hear anything here. So I, yeah. Oh, yeah. How how do you how do you go about this? Because like all you get when you open the door is just yep. kind of like noise. Are you actually going out? I'm going out. I'm going to the bar. Okay. Uh, uh, Shaka, not a big drinker, so he's going to order something that looks like a drink, but is not really like a, you know, like a, like a, uh, j- l- like a, d- like the equivalent of just getting a Coke, and, <laughs> but like sit- with like a lime in it, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. And so just like sipping a- on it slowly okay. and just trying to meander his way about uh the crowds and see if he can overhear anything sure um yeah dernan provides and he he tells you that it's it's no charge because you had dinner with mert he's covered everything um and uh as you look around the tables are all full they're all manner of of people who are whether it's after work and they're just looking to enjoy <laughs> a drink oh my god y'all um <laughs> Or, you know, just having dinner after, you know, after the, uh, the, the toils of the day, um, you overhear that, um, certainly it's, you don't, there's not a lot of, oh my God, the castle lanterns have, you know, infused this part of the city with this much money, but it's like, you know, where you know the cat, like, you know, where the castle lanterns live and certain people are talking about, in 
you know, in, in areas surrounding other prominent families of Waterdeep, there has been development, like whether it's, um, you know, house repairs or businesses opening or, you know, things to better the city in, in a certain radius surrounding these families these things have been happening. Okay. Cool. And, you know, yeah, people are nice. people are talking about how, oh yeah, you know, up in the um up in the sea ward, the 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 castle, which is west of you all in the north ward. Uh right. in in the sea ward, um, you know, they're they're talking about, you know, fishmongers are opening and and things like that. And um down in the in the the dock the dock wards, you know, they've paid for new fishing boats and things like that. I don't know why I'm hooked on fish, um, <laughs> but stuff like that, you know, they've mm-hmm. been making improvements in in areas related to and surrounding their their places. Okay, yeah, so I hear that as I'm sashaying my way through the club, uh, being that like person that just stops at a conversation shakes his head like he's going to join and then just moves on to another <laughs> you know, uh, but very awkward but hey get some info it's pretty good cool. yeah and a couple of people like a couple of people like look up at you and, and they give you a nod like you know as you say yeah that's a really good you know it's really good that they're doing that and this you know one guy who appears to be wearing a um a very You've never seen this kind of hat before, but it's like a skull cap, but it's got like a brim in the front of it. And he looks at you and he says, yeah, that's a really great idea. Like, it's really good that they're doing that. Yeah. It is. Thank you. Yeah. (laughs) So. How's the weather? (laughs) (laughs) Um. I mean, it's the weather's good. Pretty cloud, yeah. Cloudless day. Yeah, isn't it cool? How's how's sports? How are sports? Uh, sp- sports are good. Yeah, cool. All right, I'll see you later. All right. Uh, that particular tavern keep uh, looks at his friends uh, and just kind of gives a shrug. And one of the, you know, one of his his table mates, a, a gentleman with very long, luxurious hair just goes. And then they kind of go back to, there's an awkward silence and then they just kind of go back to talking <laughs> amongst themselves. Nice. Cool. How it is. Um, at any point, the rest of you mm-hmm. <laughs> are, you know, Sh- Shaka, make me gosh, what kind like of check awkward check? <laughs> awkward. Yeah, make me there. make me a charisma check. Make yeah. me a charisma check, please. We all have just, plus, just we all have plus twenty to awkward. That's not yeah. a skill I put I mean, on my that's sheet. Not, that's I got yeah. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, eight. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's that actually that feels very right. fittingly. Yeah. Fitting. yeah, I love it when the dice serve the story. Yeah, mm. this happens to conveniently be a table near the door that of the room that you all are in, and Shaka is speaking rather loudly. <laughs> oh, on top of everything else, he's not just shouting at these people. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Well, I think he's he's not shouting, oh, but okay. it's <laughs> it's quite it's quite audible I yeah. feel like how sparks I yeah, feel like let, God, yeah God yeah yeah pops off the uh, no please no l- l- like I think I'm shouting over the meat like this is how oh. I have to talk oh yeah, yeah. Wait, but it's there's too much very crowded yeah. too much there's music uh, I'd say there's uh, well, no, I mean wouldn't there be some players. kind of band playing or something like there's that? A, or, a, um, there's a bard uh, in, in the corner to the yeah. clamor of, you know maybe there's like yeah a, you know, it's like okay. this it's just Oh. Yeah, it's 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 tavern chatter with that very typical medieval music underneath because there's a bard in the corner who's just playing for silver pieces. 
also the moment Gosrick saw Shaka go out to like investigate, he definitely opened the door and is peering out. And I imagine there are other people like we all watched this together occur. Yes, I love the <laughs> Scooby Doo style moments oh. that we have oh we've God. had in this campaign. <laughs> yeah, this is happening. Yeah, and then he's coming back. Quick, back to our seats. Back to our seats. <laughs> Yeah. Wild. So how's it go out there, bud? Oh, it's pretty good. Um, you know, this Coke's pretty good. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's fantasy Coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not much. There's almost a full glass of Coke I'm showing off to you guys. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just trying to get some information about. Uh, I don't know. I feel like. You know, maybe we could get some information about why people are moving out, or maybe mm-hmm. m- maybe there's some buzz around town, some uh, rumors For sure. um, that can help us, uh, you know, uh, do things. But yeah, so, Shaka. Yeah, Shaka. Yes, I could hear you. Wait, you heard? It was so loud in there, though. I could. You were yelling. Well, that but did not go yell, well. But you have to yell to talk over the hum of the crowd. This is why you're not a spy. Well, so you, you, you uh, oh yeah, you. So, Cease was not in Rebel's End. So Shaka is going to say, when I was in Rebel's End, I know you weren't there, but I had some pretty successful, uh, some pretty successful spy moments. I wish you were there. Sure, to see it. sure. Sure. You weren't. sure. Um, I, I'm going to let you keep that. That's your story and you're sticking to it. Uh, if, if, uh, if Ren was here, he'd back me up. Um, I could, sure. I could yell in the yawning portal and ask. I'm, and like I'm, to, and like Dahani oh. would definitely back me. Wait, is is Dahani here? Is she here? No, Dahani is not here. But, oh, then yeah. See, see, they're, they're not here to back me up. But convenient. Go- convenient. Gosrick literally puts his hand up. <laughs> I do not mention Gosrick on purpose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like I wish, Ren, wish Ren and Dahani were here to back me up. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's okay. I, and I just like I even like look at Gosrick like. No, no, no. He's right. I would tell you would hear a different story from me. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, I want the actual story. Hmm. It's actually you kind of got it. That's basically it was basically that all the time in the Rebels End. Oh, so totally that what we saw. I totally and there won. wasn't any music in the cafeteria either. It really it, there was like no nothing was playing. Wow. Okay. I mean, I got the stories when I went and got you all out of Revels End, so good try, Shaka. Good try. Yeah. Well. No, but I mean, we did not. We did. You, I imagine you share with us like the value of the families yeah, of like investing, mm-hmm. and then I think like Gazer takes that as like, well, I mean, I think that's something that we can definitely run on. <laughs> I wonder if we start. What if we start our own? I would like to start a, I have no other way of saying this, but um, a incubator of craftsmen. I want to take the best craftsmen that I can find from Waterdeep who are being undervalued, bring them to one of these unoccupied buildings and let them create. And then from there, whatever they, content they make out at a very, very fair rate to them, perhaps 20% cut back to the rivals, sort of per, uh, promote their material and merchandise. I like the idea of that, but is that going to cause issues? Um, isn't there a, isn't there already a dedicated trade ward in the city? Is that going to cause any issues with that? I mean, I, I, I would love that if not even just craftsmen, if we, yeah. if we had anyone willing to show off their wares, it would absolutely increase the the aesthetics of the ward. But I I, I just don't want. Are we going to get in trouble with anyone if we do that? And also, yeah. do we care? I no. would, 
I would say that uh, let me answer the first one. I think I would like to look for those who can't get the space in the traders ward. The individuals who are, for whatever reason, there's some long-standing institutions that have been there for a while. They're very good. These are, I would like to invest in people who might not have had the opportunity yet. Leveling the playing field would be a great draw. We would have a lot of talent that would not be available elsewhere. It would actually mm -hmm. draw a lot of people to our ward. Mm -hmm. Who could be patrons, basically. Exactly. Yes. That's the, a great word for it, patrons. Yeah, patrons of the, uh, uh, I don't want to say undeserved, uh, like you said, it was like people that, um, you know, can't break in, right? right? Like they have the skills, but they can't break into these established. We um, would develop areas. an interest in, in um, new talent that is undiscovered and flourishing. Right. And I go over and I make sure the door shut just. Just to be hyper safe. I love how all the noise at that point would just be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, and I got all these dragon scales, man, in the skin, and I really want to make something that allows the North Ward to pop. So, what if you the only place you could buy it would be in the North Ward? The other, the other feature since we already have some contacts with some of the families in the ward mm -hmm. is maybe we're not the only patrons. Maybe this is a Ooh. sort of matching service. You know, maybe some of the other families want to get in on the ground floor with these very talented artisans. Uh, and so we can sort of match make, you know, mm -hmm. maybe the castle lanterns need a redesign of their manner since yes. their entire family was well, since things have changed over there. Management's uh, different, And yes. so they, you know, maybe there's an interior designer, fresh-faced and new that they want to bring up and we can connect them as part of this. I also think the Langolans could be of use. We could reach out to them. Uh, Eric Walrick and I spent many a month in a cell together. I think I could lean on his <laughs> uh, positioning to advance any ideas that might come through. I like these ideas. Mm. Hope, 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 I need someone needs to write these down, and I'm gonna like look around for a because I don't I don't know if I'd have a pad of some sort, but uh, like look around for a. If you're yeah, Virgil would pull Virgil would like kind of reach behind his coat and pull out like a pad and and like do they I don't know pencil they don't have pens mm -hmm. they don't have bic right there's no like bic in water now <laughs> no pad, you'd have a pencil. like a ten pack like a of pad and pencil and, yeah, hands, like it, and a, hands yeah. it over to Shaka um, <laughs> the, the large quill and like the, yes. the, the ink pot yeah. there you go um, <laughs> yeah um, but also Shaka I feel takes like... out his his uh, bic mechanical pencil actually <laughs> I do have, I have an oil Does it have the four I want the four <laughs> colors can I get the four colors and the like the yeah. um, but I I do want the families who have neglected the ward to I guess own up and take responsibility for the fact that we mm. we are I mean they have now all been involved with us and they have yet to actually make an effort and to be honest as far as I can tell rumor aside those families haven't exactly made an effort to engage us either so they've just been sitting on their hands while the north ward has deteriorated just to clarify Latia mm -hmm. the families and the people that we've heard about leaving the ward mm -hmm. is the impression that we get that these are noble families or that these are everyone else <laughs> um mostly everyone else okay but one or two. Oh, okay. Like, like there's the, the ratio is definitely in favor of uh -huh. everyone else. Right. But there are a couple of noble families who have kind of left because uh I'll say you 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 kind of got this impression through your perception and insight checks last mm -hmm. season. Um that while some families are interested in rehabilitating parts of the city there are mm -hmm. other families who are not as interested and then okay. feel that you know especially where the area around troll skull is concerned your activities have been making it worse <laughs> right okay so it isn't like 
the North Ward is full of noble families who don't care about anything but their own manor house. And so they just have been insulated. It's, mm-hmm. it, it's us. Okay, cool. <laughs> that, that actually is great news. Uh, that makes this whole thing way easier on us. So <laughs> great. Um, okay, that's all. I just want to clarify. Absolutely. I'm just making some notes. <laughs> just really cute. Um, so where do we st- start? I mean, if this is sort of our, you know, phase one of our North Ward revival, sorry, Rivals Ward revitalization project, mm-hmm. maybe we shouldn't change the name to the Rivals mm-hmm. Ward. No, 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 no. The city yeah. does yes. that. The city <laughs> does that for we, you. We, we, yeah. can, we can't so imagine we, that. Like, <laughs> Like, you know, maybe if in terms of line items, maybe we bury that down yeah. in the ephemera way is, at the bottom. As like, it came out the, of my mouth, I was like, oh, that's not helping. <laughs> hey, hey, we're, we're all new at this. We're all trying things there. Right. No, 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 no. We do silence. that. We, we do that now, yeah. but it doesn't go into effect for six oh. months and no one cares then. <laughs> Honestly, we could just send Shaka back out into the bar talking about a rival's word. I mean, he's like... He's on it when it comes to the uh, ear of the comment. I'm sorry, Virgil can't even finish the sentence. He's yep, trying. yep, good try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> try. It was good. It was good. It was good. I, was, takes I, was, I thought you were going to make it. Shaga takes a slow sip of his Coke as you yeah. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, could Celise intimidate them into accepting that name? It's impossible. Can intimidation work on contract law? I don't see why not. Or yeah, merely the signing. Intimidation could work on the signing hand. Jokes. So true. <laughs> I mean, like, have sleeves just <laughs> many things. <laughs> I was just thinking, have sleeves walk out and just make the pronouncement that effective today, this is now the rival's word. I think interesting. I, I think I, I, like I think it's <gasps> definitely stir some some people up for sure. Perhaps any of the other families that are like, in the right, North right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely I, maybe, you know, one thing at a time, right? right. We, this is a phase one. Like we're very excited about this artist yeah. project, and and you know we certainly don't. We want to. I got nothing. Yeah. I, don't, I got no. I also well, I don't want them to know how many how much of our resources we're currently at our disposal. If the yeah, other families come at us, I fair. think we could handle them given our new new wealth. But I don't want it to show. It, it, just to me, I think right, it's right, it's, right. A, it's a it's a weapon that we can keep oh, behind bars. I think we go for some things we can do quickly. Like mm. we, um, God, I don't think I got her name, but I, you know, the uh, woman that I that I met with earlier, she mentioned setting up a town hall to hear some of the grievances. Oh yeah, mm. of the area. I'm sure they have we some should get their ideas. Yeah, because I'm sh- I'm sure they have some immediate things that we could probably fix, like literally that day or the next day. Like just just some small things to build some goodwill. Yeah. Right. And then we could focus on the larger things. Um, I've never recobbled the road, but I'm down for it, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you can do that, Gazer. Yeah. Virgil has a concern. <laughs> um, could we also, you know, rather than rather than maybe, you know, starting off a little big, what if we just that that woodworker Gazric feels like an excellent candidate for someone that that we could patronize mm-hmm. as sort of an example before we even begin sort of a formalized thing, you know, we'll fill the manor mm-hmm. and the inn with pieces there and people will visit and see them and ask and sort of a more organic, like, oh, I want in on that and just see how, mm. sort of how it goes. Since th- we're talking about starting small and, and also wanting to do necessary things for the ward that the people of the ward bring to us. I think that's great because he's already a little established, but also might not have as much notice and from him, other folks might come forward who might not have a shop, who might not have uh, who be at the place that he's at, uh, where Kin is. So, yes, I, I think in the meantime, we, we get this uh, town hall organized and then we definitely um, I will reach out to Kin and we can maybe chat about refitting the manor. Because I'll be honest, I I'll, is the is this the is all of the manor's furniture original? Y'all, is that is that what came when we when should ask leave? Yeah, <laughs> I don't, uh, some of that stuff is old. Then I don't know because Duo did uh, buy a whole bunch of stuff. 
I was certain you were going to say break that, a bunch that of we, stuff. That we had to go to Icewind Dale to uh, uh, figure that's, out that's why. Right. Um, so I don't know if some of that stuff is still there mm-hmm. or if that got returned or <laughs> uh, <laughs> repossessed. Uh, uh, I don't know, but I, I let's just say Duo, we've been gone from the manor for long stretches of time. I'm pretty sure not all the stuff is original. Mm-hmm. But there might be some, like maybe the crown moldings, or you know, the, the maybe we can get, you know, yeah, maybe we can get an assessment on the mm-hmm. uh, on on the elements and trappings inside Troll Skull. But <clears throat> that you know, now that we now that we know that we officially own it. Mm. <laughs> oh, Tahani could help us with flyers for the town hall. Oh yeah. And what He's I love to know. Is, how do we get the word out about any yeah. artisans or crafters or creators who have found it unable to perhaps afford the the membership fees or the shop holding fees or just can't get their foot in the door in the trade ward? How do we go about finding out who those are? I, I hear there's a oh, no, no, please. I hear there's a blue bird that's kind of effective. So if we were to, I, I don't, is, is it the, is it the blue bird? Is, is the blue bird, is that a shop? Is, is, that is this a, a spell? That... Do I need to blue board? Board? Oh wait, did you say, did you say blue board? Is there a blue board, no, like no. A, note, a message board? Oh, perhaps, oh, perhaps, perhaps, board perhaps, a, perhaps a, a community oh, one. No. I don't even, but we have to keep the message, message tight because you don't want to take up too much space. They only give well, you so much. No, 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 the obviously. The characters they can put on Keeping it concise because obviously they're going to charge us if we want more. So we need to keep it relatively concise. I don't know how public we'd want to be with that, but you know, I just think like you could probably leave a little note on your note saying if you want other people to be able to respond right. yes. to your. Oh, I would appreciate and, that if they were yeah. able to reply to. Mm-hmm. Our, yeah, because then we right. could actually vet them. And then um, they could even them. write other people's names in that they could be worthwhile and like sort of write See, a little like others? a tag of them so that you know, we know who yeah. else to be yeah. looking for. Yeah, you could tag their names in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I participated in this, but I loathe it. <laughs> 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 too uh, late too late yeah, you're here now. Now. <laughs> this is great um, this yeah. sounds like a good idea because i mean yeah especially I if you also, all, i mean yeah yeah the guy here also was like well i mean i could also we can talk to kin and then also i mean let's be real if we need to get the face of the family out there and have the first husbands be present i think why not um I know what it's going to do when I say this. Um, why not Kent and Virgil go on a shopping tour and find pieces of work and individuals <laughs> they enjoy? And perhaps that might be another way to get, already show patronage. Yo, Yehinio came from back here. All <laughs> the way. I was like, I knew what was going to happen. I was like, this is going to come out. Okay, great. I'm going to interject with a couple Please. of things. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Because we won't no, stop. Look, no, I won't. We won't. Look, this is, this is the, y'all show for an hour and a half. I'm fine with this. Um, I will say that you already know that um, any anybody who, like any like master craftsman, very frequently has apprentices who, mm. you know, work for, for, you know, a certain fee or, you know, the, the master craftsman will take a percentage of whatever they make and stuff like that. Who, And sometimes those apprentices are ready to strike out on their own and don't have the means to do that. Um, So you already know that that's a thing. Uh, Secondly, uh, yes. um, Lately, there have been a series of blue Aarakocra, like parrot Aarakocra, who have been uh, standing at street corners and yelling uh, very uh, abbreviated news at people. (laughs) Extra, extra. I love it. I love it. Is it is it is it by chance called a, a chirp? Yeah, chirp. they're they're chirping oh, at they're people. Chirping. They're chirping. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh, chirping no. at people. Or are they tweeting That's at people? No. No, no, they're chirping. Chirping oh, no, with, little little newsy, with little <laughs> newsy caps on. God, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Celise is going to die by the end of this show. Because, yeah. <laughs> because they're done with me. Yeah. So no. so so, so uh, Shaka looks at at Gosrick and says, um, um, "What about Zafir?" Mm, I was um, thinking he, about stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's a craftsman, right? He, uh, you know, and and he probably knows a lot of other 
mm-hmm. folks in the area. I, I, I think we could get a sense of f- f- from him. He, he might be part of a guild or some other, mm-hmm. um, you know, groups where he could get in there and spread the word. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, I think that's a good idea. Do you want to, how about, uh, Let's go to bed for tonight, and then tomorrow you and I can hit him up and chat, and then uh, hit him up. Yeah, but walk to where he works. It, oh, it's a colloquial sorry. phrase. Sorry, I'm not, not familiar with that Icewind Dale. Uh, it's not. It's not an Icewind Dale. Phrase. It's cool. Because it sounds kind of violent. So I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Gosrick's charisma is 14, by the way. It's not even that. We've seen Gosrick in situations, which is why. Uh, but guys, looks like no, it's good. We'll go together. It'll be a good time. Um, okay. And then uh, also, I mean, we can. I, I'll stop by Kin's shop afterwards. We can make a rotation throughout. Sounds good. And then uh, perhaps there's some furniture or things you might be interested in also procuring for yourself. But oh, maybe Kent Virgil Solis. Um, I was going to suggest that Solis escort the future first husbands around as their guard, with uh, Fenris on the other side. As our guard or just to guard that pocketbook honestly <laughs> both <laughs> i mean both i can't watch gosrick i i trust that you two will not go around tipping 500 <laughs> percent no, we'll yeah. just spend 500 percent more i mean that's fair <laughs> <laughs> they're grown they can do what they want with their gold but if they come back broke don't come crying to us mm. Look, if we come back broke after raiding an eld a great worm horde, <laughs> even that's a lot even for Ken. Ha, yeah, I'm have not you sure seen Gosrick? Has this much? Like, does, I, does... <laughs> I'm not saying I couldn't do it. I yeah. mean, unless Waterdeep doesn't have that much, but like, it would it take more than an afternoon. It just comes you back would... with property deeds. Like, yeah. I just bought the ward. <laughs> I Are bought Castle yeah. Waterdeep. Is that okay? Blair <laughs> <laughs> I mean, standing outside with their right. suitcases. I also like... bought the <laughs> tower. Also a problem. I don't know. Can no, we do fine. that? Can we buy? <laughs> The manor out from under Laryl. Let me look up the rules of Waterdeep Monopoly. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, here's yeah. what I will say. Here's what I will say. As fun as it is to imagine us <laughs> having some status in the city and some say in the city and the first husbands and all that, I don't think I can think of a job that I want less than the open lord. <laughs> oh, no, Laryl we'd be the open it. lord. Laryl I didn't say we one. wanted the job. Oh, just the house. Uh, I see. Just the house. Yeah, we don't want your job. Just, just yeah. no. Just Laryl... You can rent the chambers from us. It's fine. <laughs> Laryl um... can have troll skull. We live in the in the manor. No, but I like our weird home. <laughs> oh, I mean, I it's, I this is true. Come with us if we move, that's, that's true. true. Oh, and then you know the that's the dragon fun. already has their baby lair down there. I know. Oh God, thank you for that reminder. My heart yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. several. <laughs> um, but as long as when you when you talk to you know when you talk to Ken and when you talk to Zafir, mm-hmm. yeah, find out if they if they have some sort of. Um, I mean, Ken seemed very. Ken seemed very accomplished, but we do know that Zafir is. Um, oh goodness, do we call them an apprentice at the temple? I, or do they call that from the Temple of Gond, right? Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah, the yeah, temple, yeah. temple of Gond, and um, yeah. you you didn't get the impression that they were an apprentice; they just work there. Like, yeah, like like they're they're not an impre- an apprentice, but nor are they like a master craftsman. They are, right, right, right. you know, for lack of an actual like term for them, um, associate his, craftsman. Yes, <laughs> executive <laughs> craftsman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. find out if there's anyone who is more on the let's say lower rungs of of the crafting scribes writing baking inventors cook, any, anything inventor oh goodness the, the temple of god is going to have a lot of of inventor crafts people so right. we're talking to zafir maybe we start to modernize the north okay. ward through all of this i will take a Ooh. list of uh, a lot of these suggestions inventors bakers tubes crafting. and steam is what i'm seeing yeah oh. lots of tubes, tubes and, steam. and steam don't write that down Oh, don't do that? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, 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 guys are like, okay, I'll, I'll make sure to check in about all of these. Um, and I, I, you know, I don't want to bother him too much. I just saw, we just saw him today, but Ken did said he was going to ask around for some other people as well. So I, I think we'll find, we'll see what comes up. But it might be a, a thing that might have to let feelers go out and then see what happens. Like this. So a base plan formed uh, on top. So the base plan is formed. Now here is the first part of the pyramid. Uh, 
food eaten, mm-hmm. uh, minds full of ideas at home. Yeah. Uh, you get a long rest. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next morning, I want to check in to make sure if Tahani just came back from the castle damage. Tahani's not back yet. Why? Wait. No. Wait. No, we've been through this no. before. No, we've been through somebody not coming back before. <laughs> hey, no. No. We all we like put our <laughs> all our and plans our are on. canceled. Okay. Yeah, no, that's no. <laughs> um, okay, but yes, it it is it is. Dahani is not back yet. Okay. Okay. So we got sending to uh, locate creature. What do we, we got? I go can gather. locate creature. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'll go. Hold on. Let's all go put on our armor and our <laughs> war gear. Right. <laughs> well, and for the record, we're not mad at the honey. We're mad that this happened. That's oh, yeah. I no, did. for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mad at whoever you... obviously took her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you else experienced fool with us, this? Look, yeah, fool right. us once. Exactly. Fool us once. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to know that we do learn, right? Yes. We're getting it's we're improving. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, it is. It is morning. You all come downstairs, bright eyed, bushy tailed, or otherwise, and um, Leaf is still here and has made breakfast. Um, yes, Leaf yes. is still here. Like, has Leaf, made Leaf is still awesome. here means there's food. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, and you know, as as he serves breakfast, he's you know, has that portal always been in the office? Uh, yeah. Oh, all right. No, we thought you would know. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Was so it here how when long? You, when y'all got here, it wasn't here. How know? long has that portal been in the office? At least four seasons. At least four <laughs> seasons. <laughs> Yeah. It, it, okay. Uh, wait. Totally out of character. When did that thing appear? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like uh, it's, no, it's Avernus. Avernus. Was it Avernus? Yeah. Yeah, since the Avernus. Yeah. Yes, Avernus. Yeah. Okay. So eight seasons is how long not, this has been there. Yeah. We've yeah. really. We've not even talked about passage of time much, but yeah, it's been there for a minute. Okay. A minute. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah it was when uh, Thavius uh, took over the manor. That's mm-hmm. right. Uh, That's right. The portal in there. I'm nope. glad that we also we have Avernus One and Avernus Two to delineate them. Yeah, we do. We can't stay away. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the uh, portal to Avernus when the manor went to Avernus, though? Did it implode? Like, it was, like a was it like reaching and pulling it out? Hole. Like it did? Like, yeah. like wait a second. It, it, went, yeah. it went like it Mobius itself. Nice. Well, sure. I think none of us saw it at that moment. You know, it would have been like blinding and. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Deeply upsetting, but yeah, Leaf. Uh, he he, you know, makes breakfast and is just around. Like with now that you you all have been back, so there's not like anything to clean up <laughs> or anything like that. So he's just kind of enjoying a vacation, I suppose. If if ghosts can take vacations, well, I hope he can, and I hope he enjoys it. Because thank you. <clears throat> Please stop. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I had an idea and it has left my brain. So curious. <laughs> um, oh, but morning. Your, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Food. Morning, morning. Food. food. Leaf is here. Dahani is not. And y'all were concerned about that. Yes. Right. Thank mm. you. Right. Um, so who think- has locate creature? I got it up and ready. Uh, yes. I will give you guidance on that. So we'll add a d4. Cool. Um, let's see if it's fourth level spell. Let's cast it. Uh, so I cast it. It detect, describe, as long as it's a thousand feet from me, I will know it. Okay. I will give you this. Yeah. You have been to the castle enters before. So you know ask. it is more than a thousand feet okay. away. Okay. They're in the north so, ward, though, yeah. They are actually in the sea ward, the north oh. side of the sea, the, the north end of the sea ward. Okay. Oh, oh wow, they are right. always from us then. Mm-hmm. Oh right, I, well, I have a map of this at some point. 
I, one of my favorite things to do this season is to pull up the interactive map of Waterdeep and just click on things. It's great. Yeah, it's, a fun, <laughs> yeah, it's a fun map. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, we should go. We should go that way then. Oh, yes. actually, but that's okay because isn't the Temple of Gond in the Sea Ward anyway? So we can go. It sort is. Of, hopefully, we'll find Dahani completely unharmed and fine. Ideally, uh, and then we can continue about our business. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, and then um, you mm-hmm. haven't seen the baby dragon this morning either, but you kind of assume that yeah. it's down in, <laughs> in his lair. I, I look back at Leaf and um, okay, um, I don't know where Brian and Duo are, but they're there. Oh, okay. Oh, the, uh, y'all are there. I hate to ask this, but uh, Leaf, you this isn't really. I used to asking them, but do you all mind making sure? The dragon's okay and everything's all right while we're while we head out for a moment. Yeah, sure. Okay. Good. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> Spellbook ready. You know, yeah. <laughs> the mm-hmm. um we didn't see the dragon come up last night, so we just assume that he's like he's just digging or uh-huh. just being down there mm-hmm. doing baby dragon stuff. Is it weird to me to, you can tell me it's weird for me to ask this question. I understand it. Can you float <laughs> through the walls and just check, like, like turn a leaf? Can you just You're like, asking duo or leaf? Leaf, leaf, <laughs> leaf directly oh, leaf. I know, I know. question for duo too. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> or at least I we know, tell him it is. I know what he thinks his answer is going to be. Um, so you, I like to imagine that you began asking this question facing duo and then realized what you were doing and then turned to Leaf. Yeah, properly, yeah. And Leaf says, oh yeah, I can, I mean, I don't have to, I don't have to float through the walls. I just can just go, I mean, I can just go down into the cellar. Meanwhile, duo is like, the last time I tried to float through a wall, I bumped my nose pretty bad. Mm. Of course you did, bud. It's okay. It's, it's, it's sometimes the you know sometimes it takes a while to learn how to um, float through troll skull walls. Mm. As a, a please, somebody help me here. As a, no, uh, I, um, I can't help you because literally I have spent a good amount of time floating through troll skulls walls that's since true. we moved in. It's true. Uh, but Maybe you does. should stop. Then you're making duo jealous. But it's so funny when he tries to follow me. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> My guy, call me the next time you do it. I absolutely will, you guys. I feel bad about it, but I can't help it. Uh, you watch his leaf descends through the floor. He's gone for <laughs> a little bit, and then he comes back up maybe 30 seconds later. Yeah, the he's it's down there. Terrific. I I think I think we all knew, but it's just nice to know. Okay. Uh we're off to maybe murder a family. We'll see. Have fun, don't die. Uh, that is, is a joke? genuinely we should put that above the door, the exit, like <laughs> just every time we leave. <laughs> to honey to do that for the rooms for over our room doors. Yeah, you know? yes. so every time every yes. time we leave. <laughs> Have fun, don't die. Have fun, don't Have die. Fun, don't die. Yeah. That's our new catchphrase. As a marketing yeah. phrase, it's not great for the public guests, I think. Yeah. But you know, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. for our rooms. <laughs> I do like the idea of a manor saying that, hey, you won't die in here, but out there, have fun. Just don't die. Oh. It's the exit sign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to have Amazing. to add a line item for oh, security boy. services we'll to the stay bills. stay here yeah, forever. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's take a jaunt to the <laughs> Seaward. please. Hooray. Oh, no. <laughs> no, stop <laughs> it. Seaward. No. <laughs> Let us go somewhere yeah. before before I uh, before I change the the plot of the the season yeah, to be yeah, exactly. you really can never leave the manor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, you uh, you make your way out of the manor towards the seaward, and um, if anybody is paying attention to the amount of people that you pass as you walk by, it is somewhat. I've already said that it isn't standard, but it's somewhat standard. You see people who are leaving their homes and going to do other things, headed to the the trade ward or the also to the sea ward. Um, as you get maybe a couple streets out, oh, interesting. Uh, as you get a couple streets out, the crowds begin to um, you know to thicken a little bit, um, and you can definitely tell that like it is a radius of 
with uh, of around Troll Skull Manor where people have thinned out. I think I know the answer to this, but I, I just mm-hmm. want to be sure there isn't a like, like it doesn't feel like a hard line, right? Like it doesn't feel like a, a, no. a what is it, an antipathy spell or something, right? Like yeah, it's, no, it's it's not like your uh, it's not like your memories have haven't formed beyond a right. like five hundred foot radius of Trollstone Manor. It's well, not like clearly that. I just can't accept that the entirety of pop of the population of Waterdeep doesn't want to like live with us in Trollskull. I ha- there has to be some other reason, <laughs> right? <laughs> no no it's it's and it's i i keep saying that it's thinned out and i'm not saying that it's a ghost town right right right, right. It's, of course, of it's course. just a little noticeable um got it got it yeah oh yeah this is the one i'm using <laughs> uh so yeah you uh make your way to the seaward um it's probably, it takes you probably about an hour or so to get there. Um, where are you going first? To the, the House of Inspired Hands or the... No, we should check on Dahani first. <laughs> <laughs> Friend Although first. I guess once we're, once we're closest to the villa, you can do the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look just to make sure she's there before yeah, we go knocking on their door. Once I enter a thousand feet, yeah. yeah. Although maybe we should just... I mean, since we know that she was going there, maybe we should just say we're checking in. I mean, mm-hmm. oh, that's true. It, and use it. If it wouldn't. They it wouldn't don't seem. Say she's right here. Right. It wouldn't seem untoward. <laughs> yeah. You know, we could basically say we were just checking on. You know, we're, we're checking because we want to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, that's true. What up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. There are non-magical solutions to the world's problems. Right. I'm sorry. I. I I'll say the. I'll you say know the spell your, slot. Do you know what? Do your little spell. No, 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 no. You were going to have some fun. Do your, do your little spell. Do your spell. I, it's you fine. Know, okay. I will keep. You, just be, we both do spells, yes. and we both Such do equal spells. Okay. <laughs> we do both do the same level spells. Yeah. <laughs> I can also cast one ninth level spell right now. Okay. I got one. You slot. both are <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> right. You both are full casters. Why are you doing this to each other? Yeah. <laughs> I just, the thing is, I'm like, because we, you know, like, we may need it for something else, perhaps. Uh, no, 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 you're right. We should, no, we first. should spell spar sometime <laughs> off screen. That would be super fun. <laughs> oh, my God. God yeah. Extra content, extra content. Oh God. Rivals, <laughs> Rivals Battle Royale. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. I love it, I love it. Um, um, but yeah, with, within, within the hour, you are, you know, headed to the uh to the castle lanterns villa um it looks a little less imposing than the last time some of you saw it uh because as you know the last time some of you saw it it was demon infested um so you you're not sure whether it's just the overall presence where you know that you're not about to be sucked into a vernus again sure. or if it's or if uh, Masood help me. What is what is this new castle enter's name? Hylock. Hylock. Thank you. I I've misplaced my other notebook full of notes. Totally okay. Um, or whether Hylock. Old, he was the also the only castle enter we met, so that's the only name you need. Yeah. Good. Um, but yeah, you're not sure if it's the the fact that you know that things have kind of taken a new a turn for the better, or whether or not Hylock is actually like making adjustments to the outside of the manor to make it look a little mm. more friendly. Um, which is, you know, interesting. But there you are. And um, the there are two people stationed at the gate that kind of leads to the walk up. Um, and they recognize you and go ahead and open the gates. That's good. <laughs> um well i guess we could before we even necessarily bother the household if there are gate guards mm-hmm. you know um hi you know you know who and we well hi it's nice to is dahani still here we're just looking for our, you know dahani came by yesterday and just wondering if you've seen her leave no well we we haven't seen her leave no but she's she's still there yeah, which I we just have some business today and we're just, you know, coming to to check 
uh, see if she was going to join us. Yeah, go on, uh, go on ahead. We, uh, I'm sorry we weren't expecting you. We can't do a, a proper no, no welcome of sorts. But yeah, go on. Not at all. Go on up. Not at all. We are, you know, the castle enters the rivals. We work together. It's fine. Don't don't give it a second thought. Does a proper welcome mean a song though? No, no I'm kidding. I okay, just. I mean, if look, if you want Walt Hare to do that kind of thing. It exactly, exa- withdrawn, exactly, withdrawn, exactly. <laughs> no, no song. <laughs> now, Kent, we're gonna. I'm so sorry, we're gonna go in. I don't, I'm so, I'm yeah, so sorry, I'm just, just the yeah. gate guard who we are now giving our life history to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, here we go, we're going inside. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you head up to the door and you knock on the door, and um, it's actually uh, Walt Hare who opens the door. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like oh, well isn't this just a surprise the honey your friends are here what <laughs> oh no Walter, why was that so weird <laughs> um and he he at, he steps back from the door and you know invites you all in i i have a bad feeling about this uh, uh, let's proceed on in and, uh, you know, as, I mean, no, go ahead. caution, <laughs> but friendly smile, like, you know, like Planet Island smiles, everyone. We're that's a friendly visit to go check on our friend. It's all, that's, that's no, it's all, all it good. Is. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, I'm my fingers I'm are itchy for their own reason. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. waiting to see what, what Kent is up to. Well, I just, just I look magic people. Um, is there any, I, look, I don't want to assume this is all perfectly fine. I know, but you know, having adventured for as long as we have, a little paranoia tends to sit in. Anybody got an ace in the hole in case this is a, a doppelganger? I used to have zone of truth, not anymore. Try sight or? I think I can, in, I've got something. I think. Okay, great. I don't yeah. look. I don't want to go from zero to sixty. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a phrase that I heard once without context or any sort of explanation. But like, just in case, you know. Yeah. For sure. Um, let's go. In. <laughs> no, we mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I've got oh. hypnotic pattern. Nice. Whoa. That's well. <laughs> so I mean, now. I have a question, which is how does that help us determine if this is a doppelganger? If it goes for- badly, uh-huh. I can hypnotize a doppelganger. Got it. So that's true. if it's a doppelganger, I love it. I love it. We're thinking. Yeah, like I have, I, have, I have like mind controlling abilities, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> or you know, Here just lightning. It. Okay. I the like lightning both of these will control options. your mind. That's true. Hmm. Uh, but you you all walk in, uh, smiles at the ready, and uh, uh, Walter goes, like, he closes the door behind you, not menacingly, and he's just closing the door, and he uh, walks off into another room, which you can kind of guess is the kitchen, or the, the dining room, rather. Um, and a couple minutes later, Dahani walks out. She's like, oh, hey. Hey, you didn't come home last night. We were worried considering who you were doing business with. Not that like you have to tell us where you are at all times. You're your right. own bird and that's okay. But honestly, yeah. the last time that we left and went out to eat and came back and somebody wasn't here, it was a little more serious. Yeah. That's understandable. No, no. Um, I we, Talks kind of went late last night. And so uh, I like asked me to stay for breakfast. I was actually coming. Home. Oh. I want to make an insight check now after hearing them talk just to check. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I think Ken does too. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad about it. Checking. Oh, the yeah. honey. I got an 18. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not just about it. Just literal. double check it. I'm just like, is this the my is the antithesis of being able to lie. Like, Dehani has no ability to charm 
anybody and y'all are just like inside check right now well that's exactly why because if we discover that there is a falsehood being told here Mm -hmm. then we'll probably know it's not so double check if someone exactly just a quick double double check (laughs) and (laughs) once you deal with one batch of doppelgangers you know what have we done to kent yeah i got 17 (laughs) yeah no you you both, this is this is Dahani. This is cool. Dahani's oh, behavior. Cool, cool, cool. Entire demeanor and probably clothes just, just like, like relaxes. Yeah, his shoulders oh, drop. Oh God, he's got mood outfits. I think I do have mood outfits. <laughs> I think I think everything like everything was very like tight and there were lots of like buttons. <laughs> and now it's just like everything's like a little more comfortable. Like the top couple of buttons are suddenly undone. I'm throwing dice. It's fine. Beautiful. <laughs> cool. Um, and then actually shortly after that, uh, out of the dining area walks Highlock who is dressed very informally, um, not quite like, not quite like um, dinner jacket or like a, I, the words that formed in my head were breakfast robe, Mm. which I know Kent would have. (laughs) I mean, I actually, in real life, I have one of those. That is a thing. (laughs) Breakfast robe. It's when you get out of Um, bed. You put it next to your smoking jacket. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's a robe. (laughs) It's a robe, right? Some well, of them are fun. It's right next to the cocktail truss. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's he's dressed like I guess you he's in, in shirt sleeves and mm. just like pants. And he's got a piece of toast in his hand that he's walked out with. And he's like, Oh, good morning. Good morning. Uh to what do we owe the the honor of your arrival here? Um and Dahani says it's it's fine. They I didn't come home last night, and we've had a couple of incidents where people who don't come home are kidnapped and you know stuff like that. So they were just a little concerned. It's fine. And Hylock kind of Hylock like laughs at the blaséness with which she delivers this information, <laughs> and and uh, and he bites his toast. And it's like oh uh, well. I suppose being being who you are, that makes sense. Mm. Um, he seems completely like this is com- a completely normal behavior for him, Kent. Um, and and uh, yeah, he's just like, oh well. I mean, we're still having breakfast. Mm. If you'd like to join us, if you haven't eaten. Oh, I grabbed some food uh, before I left at the manor. I think we all did a little regroup there. Thank you for the offer. I, I would for me, anyways. I, Shaka, there might be some waffles in there. You're really trying to get that. That's what that tastes better than my soup. But whatever. <laughs> well, I, you, you, mm, you've cooked I, breakfast, so don't worry about what tastes better than your soup. <laughs> I know. I'm still getting over it. Um. Shaka is really uh, <laughs> for me some decision right now. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> he looks, he looks at like at like how long it says, um, uh, yeah, I would like to, I, I would gladly like to join you. Um, Shaka's mind is that you know the way to if someone offers you fees and want to be rude, and mm-hmm, if yeah. and if he wants to try to talk. Um, and get some information that he wants to do it over some food. He thinks like it'll ease it down. So he's not just starving. We Um, got a little bit of information about some of the other families. Is that, yeah. Right. Right. So, so, so like I'm shocked. Shock is like, yes, I'd love to join you. Anyone want to join us? Celise, um, comes over to where our cast Leonard, our new cast Leonard friend, and I forgot their name already, sorry, um, is, and just kind of looks him up and down like, hmm. <laughs> well, um, he, no, it's, he, <laughs> stop it. He, uh, he, you are an intimidating presence without even rolling for it, Solis. Um, and with Fenris at your side, especially, um, who's matching your mood, he looks a little a little concerned, like just a little wary of you as you are there now. But he he holds his ground and he says, uh, uh, I mean, I'd love to have you all for dinner, breakfast. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I I think it'll help ease ease things because you, you got to realize last time we were in here, it was a lot. I mean, I'm sure you've heard some of the stories. Um, it was very very hectic and very very bad. So we're a little on edge. Um, Understandable. You know, how much do you know about what happened here? Love the remodel, by the way. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Looks great. Uh, I, I mean, I, yes, I, I know quite a bit about what happened here, which is why I am here and why they are not anymore. Um, right. The That was a, a bad moment in Castle Lantern history that I'm trying to rectify. And he actually, he, he actually is kind of trying to usher you all into the dining room. Like, he's like, would you like to sit down and we can talk about this? Okay, great. That sounds good. So I I go to follow. Uh, Celise follows. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, Celise follows, but she's just like, you know, like when you've got the, the concerned cousin or someone and they're just like, so who are you? Mm-hmm. And that's what she's just like not giving him any quarter. And she's oh just like goodness. leaning back in her chair, making sure he can see the hilt of her sword. Gotcha. What is your intimidation bonus, by the way? Eight. You have a plus eight. Okay, so yeah, you have a passive intimidation of 18, which is wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you sit next to him in, at the table? Oh, absolutely. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm going to put my boots up on the table. Oh, Ooh. oh, oh. All right. Oh, and I just uh, look in shock and like, this is how you intimidate people. Oh. Uh, he, you learn he, intimidation skills in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> you are should. We, you should. Are we at this breakfast, did we join them at this breakfast? Because, because I think we both. Have <laughs> I think a we, we've moved to that through. Like we, we we've, we've moved through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you you all have moved into the dining room. Okay. Uh, Highlock is of course sitting at the head of the table. Uh-huh. Felice sits to one side of him, and her feet are like. Two um, feet um, away from his breakfast. Oh my god. god. <laughs> Virgil. And he he looks at this. You see him visibly swallow. He moves his plate over. <laughs> and you can you can tell that he wants to say something about the that she her boots are nice, they're clean, they're you know a little dusty. Y'all have been walking, but he wants to say something about this, but he also knows the history that y'all have had with the castle lanterns, and he's like. I understand and just just have this talk. <laughs> she um she just sits there. She has a plate, but she makes a point of eating her food with like her, her dagger, just giving him a stare the whole time. Virgil. Virgil. <laughs> Why is this so effing tense? Should we do you want to go talk to Zephyr? This is so uncomfortable. Can we, is it worse if we just leave? I mean, I know yes. it's a lot for me to. Oh, it's God, actually, I don't know. I kind of like, like Gazer's in between both of you and looks I up. I kind of want to see, I want to see how this plays out, but this is, oh, God. did this get really weird all of a sudden? Is it just me? Yeah, it's not just like, you. It's really not just the two of you. It's wait a minute, real. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Gosric thinks it's weird. I do. It's oh, and like no. I was uncomfortable, and then Tahani was fine, and now it's it's cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, you got coffee here, <laughs> man. No. That's nice. You got good coffee. Um, I feel bad because Ken Virgil really do not know what took place here, and we're just really like, what don't. the entire <laughs> f is happening right now. We know that there is history, um, but like not much more than that. That wasn't in the book, so yeah, you know. just right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that uh, book! It wasn't covered in the book. It wasn't, it wasn't covered. covered in the book. This is not covered in the, in the curriculum. Like right after that, so I think that's also where he's at. It's like I don't. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah. So. Um, you're having this, this has become a very awkward breakfast. Everybody is, and then Dahani and Walt Hare are sitting on like the opposite side. So Celise is on one side, Walt Hare and Dahani are on the other side and they're kind of looking at each other like, what just happened here? And then, <laughs> and then there's the rest of you. And then Shaka is just chowing down. 
I mean, oh, yeah. Shaka, Shaka, Shaka has a purpose here. <laughs> no, no, Shaka has a purpose here, but he's also chowing down. And then yes, so Hylok says, so how can I help you? And I just look at the others. And we all look back at you. Exactly. Immediately. <laughs> like, like, I... I, I I don't want to talk with my mouth full, uh, and at the same oh my time God. I'm trying to wait wait for things to calm down a, a little bit. So I oh my God I uh, after a brief pause I I uh, say um if you heard anything about uh, people moving out of the ward oh the the sea ward. No, so like when I say the war, I'm uh, sorry. So, so you know, you know how some people just refer to things like the city or the ward, and they're always talking about <laughs> one thing. I'm sorry, I, I thought you knew which one I'm talking about. Yes, the North Ward, the Sea Ward doesn't really, as far as I know, have a you know a, re- a reference like that. Uh, well, uh, I mean, we in the Sea Ward have uh, had newcomers, some of them from the North Ward. So in a sense, I could say, yes, I have heard uh, of people moving out of the ward, as you call it. Yes, the ward. Um, now, if everybody... Have they mentioned anything about, uh, like, have you, um, do you have a sense that these people are different or that there's some sort of uh, buzz or information uh, about why they moved? Uh, it's not really my purview, but the, the few that I have known of mentioned weird things happening. Or things like what? Uh, w- without being overly obvious weird things with the manor hmm yeah things have happened um yes weird things have happened at the manor um but uh i mean a lot of strange things happen in the city right over the history of the city um, there's been a lot of things that have happened, uh, you know, and of other cities near us, you know, um, as well, never winter and, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, that's that town that got sucked into a uh, you know, night, been night quite... stone, night stone. Oh, night stone got burned down by a dragon, but that wasn't our fault. Um, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, that, that happened. Um, Oh, you mean uh, El 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 Terrell. Yes, El Terrell. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're just. Uh, I guess we just wanted to, you know, just see if you had any information um, or if you heard some things about it, um, and also just to, you know, just to reacclimate, um, you know, to reestablish our uh, our bonds, right? I mean, like, like, like like uh, Dahani has been here, obviously um, she's had a relationship with the, I, I know what the old cast landers, but still with the, you know, with the general family. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know much about, uh, he really wants to call this uh, person Baldo because he can't remember his actual name. Um, Walt, ba- sorry, uh, Walt there. Um, you know, uh, don't know him too well, but I know that, that like, he's a friend of Dahani. So, you know, so uh, we're just trying to make sure that our relationship is sound. Oh, of 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 course. He kind of gives a side glance to Salise as he says this with that, you know, aura of intimidation <laughs> radiating off of her. Um, he says, well, I mean, I am more than willing to, uh, re reacclimate and strengthen bonds, as you say. Like, I am genuinely, uh, hmm. 
I am genuinely sorry for what my former family members put you all through and uh, anything that I can do to help, certainly. Pani, you should Walter. say that. Okay, yes, I'm listening. You see, we want to do good for the Nor for Waterdeep, and I think that you being a castlaner can help us. I'm still listening. Well, you know, put the good word out that the rivals care about Waterdeep. And that we're doing, we're going to do a bit of renovation and rejuvenation to, to Waterdeep. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I myself have been uh, leading some some efforts in, in and around the area of, of my, my own villa, and that sounds wonderful. At that point, Selyse, um she puts her feet down and leans in. But let's be very clear that if anything like the past happens again, or we find out that you plan to betray us, it will be the last thing you do. Thank you for a wonderful breakfast. <laughs> Honestly, the hospitality has been above board. We really, Just really do appreciate incredible. You us here. Truly yes. above and Especially beyond. Especially because we showed up unexpected, and that is on us, Correct. obviously. But um, yes. And so, honestly, you exceeded my expectations. I thought you would have murdered our friend or kidnapped them, and you didn't. Anyway, so, we should go. Right? Well, you should, you, you know, yeah, yeah, You're welcome to yeah. join us. But we mm -hmm. thank you, and Bye. we will probably see you again. I, Dahani says, I thank you, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. I yeah, I don't know why you didn't think I could take care of myself. It's just Hylock and Walter here. And Whoa. Walter's my friend. Like we we lit we like he came from Chult to find me. Like he's not so much involved with the Castellanters as like the old Castellanters, where that's a Oh right. I mean, I get it. It's, it's just really it's just it's just because you didn't come home last night. Honestly, and we had no problem with you going there and then it was like, oh, they didn't come back. Whoa. And you're still, you know, you're still recovering and 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 you know, healing is going. It's it's really just it is, and I, I I am now willing to admit it is perhaps an abundance of concern on our part that brought yes. us here. Yes. We'll we'll meet our, our reaction. Uh oh, oh, okay. I mean, I get it. We've been through some stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she goes, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might have projected uh, a little bit about my own kidnapping. That's okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Um, we, we did leave you for several days. How could you have really known, though? I really, I, I really, how could you have known? Like, truly. I, I appreciate that. I do. Yeah. I'm glad we've gotten to that point about this. <laughs> right. <laughs> There was a petty month. There was one yeah, month where God was very petty. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and like, I, I don't know about the rest of you, but Kent was like, yeah, bring it. That's on us. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, I'll be home later. Okay. All right. Please Just send like, a note. Yeah, exactly. Like, take your time. We worry not because you are not capable. Watching you punch that dragon dispelled any possible doubts about, you know, you being able to handle yourself. We just can't, I, that's all. I appreciate it. Look, I will so, have you seen all of these like blue parrot air cokers in the city now? I can send one of them if anything is happening. Like oh. I can. Okay. Yes, I won't get my- Do I need, do I need to set up my own inside. account with one of these blue parrots or- Oh my God, no. you have to go right now from this house. <laughs> 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 he really, yeah, and and the whole time Virgil has been enjoying the enjoying the breakfast, but also like basically using like the toast and eggs and meats to like create these little to go kind of Sandwich. things. Like, yep, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You you are you exit the Castle Lantern's house uh, oh, with God. the assurance mm -hmm. that Dahani is okay, um, and having gotten. A <laughs> Uh, a promise of of help and assistance out of Highlock Castle Lantern, mm -hmm. um, Pure and the yeah yeah. So uh, in in a way, your plan is already progressing sort to of. the 
to the level of of uh of i don't know how you wanted it to go <laughs> it's okay we're, neither we're, do we so, yeah it's it's, it's just clumsy it's, it's such a good plan it happened without our involvement even needing to be yeah. involved right. <laughs> and we got exactly. some food so and, like, and you got yeah. more. No, that's yeah. true yeah bonus that's true okay do but we wanna, do you have a plan uh, for yeah. zephyr right right is that, is that where we want to go I, I mean, that's the closest gone. place because the temple yeah. is just a couple of blocks. Sure. So, yeah. Really. And our and to be clear, our plan is that we want to talk to Zafir <laughs> about hate being his patron. Uh, finding uh, others I don't know if who we, want. Yeah. yeah what is? Yeah. This? It was. It was because if he's well, I guess we could ask him. But I yeah. had a feeling that 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 he was already like happy uh, at the temple. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like okay, like okay. It, it was more. To see if he could connect us with other great cr- cr- craftsmen that didn't have their own uh, place and didn't have a place to sell their stuff, you know. Right? But also, we can we can make it clear that we we can show some appreciation to Zephyr in whatever their plans are, staying at the temple because they've been so helpful with Brian. Right. Oh yeah. Great. Love that. Okay. We actually have a plan this time. Let's see how we can ruin it. Hey! <laughs> hey. Now, that hey. was not pointed at anyone in, just, in particular. We're just modifying it in real time. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was pointed at the rise and in, in whole, in total. Correct, because, correct. But as you are discussing this, uh, you uh, you make your way. Walk and talks are just as... Walk and talks that are is- common in both Aaron in 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 Aaron Sorkin productions and D and D. Um, Aaron Sorkin. Ah, 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 folks, we're that's, out. that's the best it's gonna get. That is really- There's so many great Aaron Coker in this episode. <laughs> there are so many. Um, no. Yes, you you arrive at the House of Inspired Hands, the Temple of Gond, mm-hmm. where um, you know inside uh, the the sounds and smells of uh, of genius at work are ever present. Um, and you are met by um, one of the kind of like high clerics of the temple who asks what they can do for you. Just uh, looking for uh, Zephyr. We've had some business with them before and we're wondering if they were around and available to chat. Oh, uh, of course they are. Um, if you would not, if you would mind waiting here just a moment, I will, uh, I will fetch them and y- yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and they leave and in short order, um, Zephyr uh, comes wheeling in. And uh, he hasn't seen any of you in a while. And he's like, oh, hi, what's up? Hey, Zephyr. How have you been? I've, I've, been, I've been well, thank you. How is, uh, how is Brian? Great. He's, uh, he's going up and down stairs like yeah. you wouldn't believe. Acclimated <sighs> very well, like truly. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I was hoping that those uh, those gears and joints would, would hold. Um, he's not due to come back to see me in another couple months or so, but uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, what what can I do for you? You got any more constructs you need me to construct? <laughs> any, any more loose brains? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any, like, anything else that you want me to put in a body? Hmm. Those a lot of boxes. How can I play God it's, today? Well, yeah, exactly we're right. Right. <laughs> what body part can we put into a God? Yeah. Um, do, we do appreciate the help with um, you know Virgil. Just as we we appreciate the help with. With uh, with creating the unique needs bassinet, though that was that was much appreciated. It, mm, yeah, absolutely. It, it, that the was size. a size. Mm. Yeah, is is that gonna need to be modified at, at any point? I honestly think the smartest thing is gonna just be maybe to like let it be yeah. done. I think I think now I think the good. occupant is old enough. Mm. Yeah, that we're good. Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh. Yeah, I mean, but what whatever you need, just you know where to find yeah. me. Sure. So we 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 were just curious. Um, we are looking to help fund or help uh, find some new craftsmen, some new artists that maybe need a big break, maybe need a place to sell some of their stuff. Um, around apprentices who are just yeah leaving the, yeah trying to strike out on their own. 
Yeah. And we figure that while, I mean, you seem pretty successful. So while you might not need that, um, that you perhaps know other craftsmen, perhaps you're part of a guild or you are another organization and you could maybe connect us with some folks to spread the good word um, to bring some more art uh, back to uh, the ward. Uh, well, you see, he he kind of he kind of takes a, a minute to think about this. Well, the temple itself would always use a. I mean, we're always accepting donations. You know, patronage to the temples is is kind of a, a good way to go about that. Actually, if you're come with me, he turns his chair and he wheels off. He wheels off. Oh. And up a up like up a up a ramp that um you like who whoever came to visit him the first time knows that he has a workshop and so mm-hmm. you can whoever was here you can tell that he is wheeling to his he's going to his workshop. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Follow. Um, follow. Yeah. Yeah. And so the again the the sounds of of inventors at work and like mechanical gears like there I think there's a big kind of like mechanical like display piece in the main part of the temple and that that noise kind of kind of peers out as you head further into the temple and he brings you into his workshop where um which actually looks a little bit uh looks a a little it's a little in disarray the the way an inventive mind would have a a workshop um but he closed the, the the door closes behind you all as you all come in and he turns around in his chair and he says what's this about Things have been weird at Troll Skull and in the ward. And we got wind that the ward was feeling my sincerest apologies for <laughs> the noise that my bag no, just no, no, made. Don't, I keep don't. I, I have a little a dragon monitor and I think the baby just got uh, oh, yeah, just yeah. woke up. Yeah, and then um, you know, my the my my comrade in the workshop next door is working on something with a big uh, motor and it's yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah. You live in Queens, no one cares. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, what, right, we were just thinking, I have no idea what question I was answering. I'm so sorry, that distracted me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Zavir, yeah. Zavir has brought you back to his workshop to talk in right. Uh, oh, what is this about? In, yeah. Yes, yeah. what is this about? That's right. Uh, and you know, the, our, the North Ward is feeling a little shorted because we have, I mean, you know, Troll Skull got taken to Avernus. There was a big hole. A lot of funds are going to sort of dealing with our things. And we're mm-hmm. hoping to give back. And we thought that maybe developing artistic and inventor talent might be one way that we can turn the North Ward into sort of a, a hub of, of culture and progress that we can then share with the rest of the city. That is extremely generous. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Also, oh. making sure I have access to rare, valuable resources that I want to make an exclusive presence in Waterdeep, and given the ability of some new craftsmen, be able to make a name for themselves throughout. Have you have you, have you had the chance to work with Dragon Scale? exclusively came into quite an abundance of it and we yes yes wow so it's going to be pretty good and we don't want to um we don't want to release into the wrong hands right no no that makes sense that makes sense Mm -hmm. um well like i said starting with i mean i got my start here in the temple and I stay here because they are, um, they are nice and they are kind and they have, you know, acclimated to my very specific needs. Um, so I would, a generous infusions into the temples that support what you're looking for might be a way to go. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, the temples are supported by the city and, if you were going to, that's that's how I would start. 
but I can talk to some people and, you know, I, you know, like I, 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 I do my own work here, but I, I definitely communicate with some of the people in, in some of the, um, in some of the other temples when I need, you know, I need like art done or painting or anything like that. And, you know, we all kind of, and it, yeah, occasionally I do get some of my supplies from some of the people in the trays ward as, as well. And yeah, I could, I could definitely talk to some people, see if, um, if there were some people who could use your patronage is this this is a patronage thing that might be the best word for it it's the way that we're we want to start it out and then maybe it might turn into sort of a a larger sort of network so that everyone is not reliant on one or two patrons but yeah okay nice uh yeah i for sure (laughs) yeah Great. Great. Well, thanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't have any no. more to, to, no, to say. No. No. I just think this, that's a. No, we 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 just know that you're well respected. So mm-hmm. if you can get the word out, I think that that would mean a lot c- coming from you. Um, and also, we'll probably be having um, a meeting for for people to like air grievances and stuff about the war. Yes. You're welcome to come to that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. to represent, you know, that, uh, that part of the community. And honestly, maybe upon hearing some of these grievances, you might be the best person to connect us to the right people. Um, let's say to, uh, fix up this portion of the city or recobble the street, which once again, willing to get my hands on, never done that before, but probably should have someone experienced. Um, excellent. Uh, well, yeah, I will. I mean, I, I think what's surprising me about this is that you all are doing this yourself. Like any other, I, I'm not saying that everybody does this, but like, you know, usually there are like emissaries from the families or, you know, they don't get their own hands dirty, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of interesting that you all are willing to put yourselves out like this. And that's really cool. Answered my question, which was, is that a good thing or a suspicious yeah. thing? <laughs> yes. Oh, no, I, cool. I mean, I think it's a cool thing. Right. I mean, some other people might think it's a suspicious thing, but I mean, if your work, if you really mean to do this, mm. I think it'll show. It'll mm. it'll reflect in what you do. Yeah. Cool. That'll be uh, nice. I feel like we're going in the right direction then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. So, yeah, I, I mean, I... Yeah, no problem. I know where to find you. Yeah. And um, I will uh, get a message to you all uh, when I have some information. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. In the meantime, we will go check out, you know, chat with some of the temples in our mm-hmm. ward, see if any of them, you know, I take your advice, go there, see what's up. Thank you for your help. Yeah, yeah no problem. And also let us know if you have an invention of your own that you're looking to, oh, yeah. if you, uh, it, it might, if the temple, maybe they're still supporting you. Perhaps you need extra support. I don't know. Just uh, don't be hesitant to ask. I, I, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> with, with that, um, the next step in your plan in progress yeah. We'll cut it there for today. All right. Excellent. You all have, have made some progress, and I am proud of you. Yay. Thank you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um, so as we leave, as, as we leave the rivals leaving the House of Inspired Hands to their next destination, um, we are gonna start taking some questions as we do. Uh, if I could spell the if I could spell it right. Did I do it? I didn't. The question or questions? It's it's question. question. It's question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. It's all good. There. There we go. I did it. Um, And yeah, as we uh, as we take as we take your questions, remember to start them with question in all caps. And we are only taking questions for characters, not players. So that includes any of the cast members, any of the NPCs that you have, uh, 
you know, that we encountered during this episode. And while we await those, we're going to go and do our outros so that everybody knows who we are and what we're doing and all that fun stuff. We're going to go in reverse order, starting with. Oh, God, that's me. Hey, I'm a suit. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maroodboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, I'm around in the space doing uh, teacher Tweegee stuff. I've got some stuff coming out uh, in April that I'll talk about soon, um, but it'll be coming around the corner. I'm still doing um, gaming streams on the uh, Rivals channel. We completed Pokemon, did a little bit of yeah. uh, like uh, post game uh, last time. I'm deciding I, I did get Elden Ring. I bought it. And so Ooh. I think I might oh, stream wow. it on Tuesday. We'll see if, if my computer <laughs> can handle it. If not, we're going Must back to watch, post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, no, I'm, I've been playing it on the side. I will make a new character okay. and it will be a stream character that we that we go through. Because um, Are you, you got, like a you... fan of those kind of games? You a fan of the Souls games? Yeah, I yeah? really like them. Okay. I Sweet. really like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it right. will be fun. I think I'm... I'll take some uh, quite like inspiration from the audience but i'm feeling sorcery build because i'm right now doing a sword and shield guy and i might switch it up because I've, I've heard also it's a little more fun to explore uh, but that's just me that's what i got going on um you can catch me and everything that i'm up to uh my twitter um also i'm gonna be in la in a few weeks um so if you're around there and you want to chat hit me up oh wait that's Eugenio. Uh, oh, 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 you're, it's me. Uh, everything you're, everything you're uh, muted. Uh, no, not, I no, I was just saying that I was distracted no, by everything that was happening. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Okenio, and I am a professional. Uh, I am Okenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands on the internet. You can find me here on Twitch and on Twitter at DM Jazzy Hands. What's up this week? Uh, D&D podcast, The Last Refuge, in our ninth season. Uh, episodes, New episodes every Wednesday. There's that. Um, and actually, I think other than the streams on my channel, we're playing Mass Effect Andromeda. We are, I think, close to the end of Inscription. Um, who's to say? I don't know what we have done in that game. Uh, so that's, that's where you can come hang out with me uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. I think that's all I've got for this week. Wow. All right, cool. That's me then. Uh, hi, I am Brian, uh, AKA Urban Bohemian, pretty much everywhere on the internet. I have a, thankfully, um, I planned to make March a light month and I do have a very light week. I will be streaming on my Twitch channel on Tuesday and Saturday and Sunday. And then Sunday brings me back here with you. And if there's anything else going on, please check my Twitter. Um, Urban Bohemian on Twitter. Uh, all I will say is once again, thank you to everybody who um, who purchased Disco, the Baby Moonstone Dragon Familiar and Idol Champions. Uh, a lot of money was raised for the Canadian Cancer Society. And if you missed the fundraiser, that's okay because I still think it's cool that I got to design an asset for a video game. So you can still buy Disco. Yeah. I won't go to charity and I won't know. Or will I? <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> I'm feeling intimidated here. <laughs> All right, Sharif. All right, everybody, uh, Sharif, uh, you can find me at sharifjackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, jackson.com, and Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Um, in addition to this show on Sundays, I'm also doing a limited series, Court of the Raven Queen, um, on Codename Entertainment's Twitch, CNE Games on Twitch. Uh, we're playing with other Idol Champions folks and B. Dave as our DM as we try to take on the Raven Queen in the Shadowfell. Um, been pretty nuts so far um, uh, and just a lot of fun. Um, so make sure to check us out there. Um, or if you can't catch those live, those are also on like YouTube and, you know, they're making clips and all that kind of stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much what I got going on. Excellent. And Tanya. Um, let's see. Streaming a lot on my channel because I'm on the Women's History Month carousel for Twitch. And um, I'm trying to think of what I'm doing that I can talk about. Um, none of it this week. But Black Dye Society will be back. We yeah. ran into Strahd. So please send garlic and steaks <laughs> as soon as we need them. And um, steaks. S- steak. Garlic oh, and steak. Although it's Strahd. No, Sunday, so I'm like, I can make some garlic steak. Let's go. Right. I mean, if I you want to send, I say, I'd say send Fen that, but she's a dump here. 
Oh, that not sure not that well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Black Dye Society doing a lot of stuff for Women's History Month. I too am playing the Elden Ring, mm. and tomorrow there'll be an announcement about a game I have early access to, and then. Tuesday, I'll be streaming that game. So at some point in the afternoon or Tuesday, I'll be doing early access with drops. So, um, And then I guess that's me. Uh, you know me. It's your girl, Latia. You can find me on Twitter at Latia Jaquise, which is my name. Um, and I also don't have anything really going on this week. Um, yeah. Just... If if there's something happening, then you can check my Twitter for it. Um, I will say, uh, last Friday, I completely forgot that I was doing this. Otherwise, I would have said so last week. I was on uh, D&D Design Dash for the DMs Guild, which you can check mm. the VOD on um, at twitch.tv slash D&D. And it is a tight race between me and Zer Jester for who gets to come back next month. And that was my first time and I'd really love to do it again. So check the VOD for my design. And then if you like it, give me that vote. So I'm excited. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, we have two questions. I'm going to ask a question for Shaka. Um, is there a story behind your white eyes? Um, I mean, I guess the story is that Shaka was, as long as he's known, um, he's had eyes that favored white, um, but really a lot of the whiteness comes from um, the bond that I made uh, with my old patron. Um, uh, you know, it, it was just part of the uh, changing process. Um, so for a while, I was very proud of it. Um, but then I unfortunately uh, found out I was being deceived, um, but can't really undo the eyes. So they're kind of a constant reminder of who I used to be, um, which I guess could seem a little negative, but it also, it kind of keeps, keeps me grounded and like reminds me that, you know, that, um, you know, I have to fight to make, uh, you know, things better and different every day to undo some of the damage I cause while under this false patron. Dang, you really are a cop with a troubled past, man. Like, really, like <laughs> as you were describing it, I was like, I have seen what? this movie. Like, like trying to do hey. good for the crimes you committed. Like, I love it. Let's love it. Let's, let's sell some tickets. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we had one question for Zafir that I can't ask because I have to answer it. So somebody else. Oh, hold it. on, where'd it go? Uh, uh, do you have a project uh, that you would like uh, in investing in? What would that be? Wait, hold on. If you had all the money you needed, Ooh, which yes. projects would you like Ooh, to do? You, do you have a list of projects for Zafir? Is that what you're looking at? Zafir does have a list of projects, actually. Oh, um, that's so cool. Right now. Oh, thank you so much, High Rollers. Thank you for coming in. Oh, right I'm so there. sorry we're about to end, but... Uh, we appreciate for, the rape. Yeah, you can listen to this fantastic question from Zafir, our uh, ambulatory wheelchair user NPC, pronounce he, they. Uh, he's tiefling, I love him. Um, uh, yeah, he actually, he wants to improve his chair for, uh, he, 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 he created, he, so he is an ambulatory, I, I am an uh, ambulatory wheelchair user and um, came up with the design for my chair myself and I've been tinkering with it here and there. Um, so I kind of want to improve it so that I can give them to more people who need them. Um, and actually now that the rivals have kind of, now that the rivals have gotten me working on Brian, I'm really interested in how that would work for people without limbs. Mm. Like not just prosthetics, but like mechanical prosthetics. Mm -hmm. I'm so interested in that. All right. Um, Aside from the other things that I usually tinker on, like I didn't get a chance to show the rivals when they were in, but I've got this little, like, you know, you know, how they, they've got paper birds, right? Like paper birds that you write something on and then you send it to somebody. I'm working on a mechanical version of those where if you send it to somebody, it will actually speak the message. And that's going to be really, really fun. Um, don't know what I'm going to call them, but I'm working on that too. Okay. Uh, text to Sonic. I'm going to think about it. Out. 
everybody out uh, <laughs> because because it's time to end the stream. But Perfect. stay here because we're going to raid Imperial. Uh, is Imperial sewing right now? And she's usually sewing, right? Today I think is a sewing crafting day. Yes. Yeah, I believe nice. so. All right. So yeah. So everybody out because we're leaving. But stay here because we're sending you to Imperial. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us, and uh, we'll see what comes of the rival's work uh, as we continue the season. Thank you all so much. Goodbye. Bye-bye.